smart enough to ask to come. Okay. And I love anybody that wants to get in front of a group and wants to ask to come, but you know, since he does live here in Michigan, and you're all here, it's just a great opportunity to expose you to another really inspirational, amazing leader. He's going to sprinkle a little wisdom on you today and give you some ideas on how you can grow, continue to grow your business and your revenue. So let's give it up to Mr. Jeff. Go, go! So, um, my name is Joe Heisbeer, I'm the T-Mobile for Business Specialist. Uh, i give you all a brief history of myself just before I, I go over the things I need to talk about today, because it's not just T-Mobile for Business, um, it's more from a holistic perspective, but we're going to go over everything, how it all ties in together. So, um, I started off with wireless sprint years ago, and and I, I, I worked in the slowest store, the medium store, and the most high volume store, right? And... Um, and one of the things I did, which you all are going to learn today, um, is how to increase every single metric. Yeah, y'all might want to keep that close because I'm insanely loud, so I'm just letting y'all know right now. I'm a very passionate speaker. I don't want anybody to get scared or anything. Like, was Joe in here beating up the whole WB class? Um, but you are going to need to take notes. So does everybody have the... Um, the small little deck, it's really a one pager, but it comes out to be two pages, or whatever. My contact information is on the back as well. So I want you all to keep that information in the future because I'll, I'll go into that. But I don't want to spend too much time about me, so I'll just, um, like I said, I come from, I've ran a store, I've done the district manager role, I've done a store manager role, I've worked right under the, as a, under a director at T Mobile Corporate, actually was recruited by T Mobile Corporate. Um, I launched and help create T-Mobile, say, business at Sprint, and then somehow T-Mobile found out about me, and interviewed me, it was weird, it was a video like this, in a room with nobody in it, you know what I mean? And I thought Sprint was doing a Jedi mind trick on me to see if I was loyal to the company, <laughs> so I didn't believe it was really T-Mobile, you know what I mean? I literally drove to the interview with a Sprint truck, you know what I mean? And the first question they ask you is, you know, you, everybody in this room knows, what's the first question is, why do you want to come to T-Mobile? And my response is, I, I don't know if I want to come to T-Mobile. I'm just here because y'all asked me to be here. Uh, but to make a long story short, um, I flew in, met with John Ledger, Mike Seifert, um, and helped. I was the only one in the room that had done business and retail. He helped create that uh, uh, in Seattle with John Ledger and team. So it was pretty cool experience to do when I was in charge of Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio. Um, then they realigned the, the position to the B2B team and I came over to Wireless Vision because I still wanted to support the retail team and, and Wireless Vision didn't really have a strong business presence. So that's why I'm here. Now, why is everybody else here? You cannot forget where you come from. Um, and most of you, obviously everybody in this room, everybody ever see the old movie Top Gun? I know it's old, but I don't want to show age here. But you, everybody in this room is top gun, so give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> you're here because you're, you are the best of the best. You are our future leaders in this company. And you have to remember what you, where you come from, right? So I know everybody's going to give you a whole lot of stuff for these this last week or weeks to come and everything else. But don't forget where you come from. So I want you guys to put this in your notes and ladies to put this in your notes. First and foremost is what got you here is because you've been able to lead by example. Sometimes we forget the littlest things when we're moving up um, in the company. And secondly is check what you inspect. What is the number one reason is that we all get hired and fired? What is it, y'all? Your performance is one, right? And your operations, right? Is number two. If you don't, if you're not performing, you're out of here. Everybody know that, yeah. right? Whether you move to the district manager or not, now you're in a bigger role, right? And now you have to manage more by influence than by accountability. Because when you're in your store, you can control what's in your store. Everybody agree with that? Because it's your store. You're there every day. If if your team's not selling, you can technically go sell, right? To keep your job and to keep your numbers, right? From an operations perspective, right? You always want to check what you expect. I used to have employees and stuff like that when I ran the store, and I'll, I'll tell you towards the end, like the type of volume that I did in my stores. 
But my audit was always 97%. Because at, at the end of the day, you can't play with stuff like that. I, I tell them, like, even with the sole proprietor audit, say if somebody came out the store and they did a sole proprietor and they didn't have the paperwork for it. Hey, John, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I know you're at home making love to your wife. I don't care what's going on. You need to come back to the store? Period. Right. There is no in between. Don't have, have a zero tolerance when it comes to your operations when you're ready. Because you're in a much bigger role. And you're doing it by influence, right? And you, you can wave the accountability fist all day, but as a leader, you have to influence your team. You have to get people motivated to come in, right? You see me come in with the gauntlet and stuff like that. I do silly stuff with WD on my shoelaces and stuff like that, right? <laughs> to pump the team up, to always bring that passion, right? And, and, and the reason I wear Jordans and stuff like that is to remind me I need to be the best that I can be every day. Right? To me, Mike was the best to ever do it. You may have some LeBron James fans that here's whatever. We, I don't know, entertaining that debate. He went to the finals nine times. He lost six. <laughs> there is no goat conversation in that. <laughs> Mike went six and won six. That's it. End the story. Nothing else to talk about. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. <laughs> so, um, so, and I, I'll never forget Michael Jordan's quote, right? And, and, and this was a great, great, one of the greatest quotes, I love it, because he said, Mike was in the game and Tex Winters pulled him out of the game. Mike, get over here. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no I in team. Get over here, sit down and figure out how you're gonna get this team together and you get back out there. So, of course, there's a few seconds left in the game. All right, Mike, go back out there. Mike goes out, face left, breaks right between the legs, round the back. Boom, dunks the ball. Walks up to Tex Winters and says, yeah, there's no I in team, but there's I in win. <laughs> there's an I in win, right? And that's what it's all about. You have to come in with that winning attitude every single day when you're talking to these managers and when you're talking to, when you have your massive meetings and stuff like that. Now, <coughs> the things I'm gonna go over today is gonna increase your boxes and every single thing. And I know everybody right now from Timo from business perspective, you might be saying to yourself, well, the sales reps will always tell you, I get to pay for, for Timo for business as I do activations. You guys, everybody agree with that? Right? But there's a big difference and we're gonna go over that now. The T-Mobile facts are, if you activate, and this is from T-Mobile corporate, all stores, all in. Wireless vision, everybody. If you activate a business customer, how many how many lines are you gonna get? Six. No, two. I'm sorry, a consumer. You're gonna get two. That's the average. That's what you're gonna get, right? If you activate a business customer, sole prop or tax ID, the average is six. Does everybody feel me on that? Yeah. That's three times more boxes, right? That's three times more junk. That's three times more accessories. That's three times more T-Mobile One Plus. That's T three times more feature revenue. Does everybody feel me on that? <laughs> You're about to manage these mini markets. How are you gonna manage your mid mini markets? This, I'm, I'm gonna get this back up here. You have it. Look, bam. Yeah, I, like I need the gauntlet, right? Um, so whatever, I'll just keep going. You all got the paper, so you keep your eyeballs on your paper. Keep your pens out, too. Because <laughs> you're going to need your pens, too. The also is understanding what comes in a store. 20% of what comes in a store is new customers. 80% of what comes in the store is bill pay customers and phone issue customers. Everybody agree with that? Yep. Yeah. Right? So how do you maximize these customers? How do you maximize these customers? It's very simple. It's three words, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And I'm going to try and do it as fast as possible. Somebody give me a timekeeper so I know when I'm getting close to like 9.30. Okay. Okay. So I want everybody to repeat after me. Because these, these, these will be the most impactful words that you will ever say as a DM, as a store manager, as anything in this company. And those three words are, did you know? 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 Did
Did you know? Did you know? I need it again. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? So when a customer comes in the store, nobody comes in the store for six lines. Usually. Nobody comes in for 13 lines. Everybody agree with that? Yep. They're coming in for how many, y'all? Two. Yep. Coming in for two. But when, how many times do you go to the grocery store and it says 10 orange juices for $10? <laughs> but you came in for two. <laughs> and the two cost four dollars a piece, right? That's eight dollars. You're like, well, shoot, I might as well just go ahead. Let me let's just go ahead and get the ten. What are we gonna do? We got a refrigerator in the basement. Yeah, we gonna do it. We gonna do something. Because <laughs> we are gonna get this deal. It's, it's, we getting ten for ten, right? So that's the same thing. So a customer walks into the store. Remember and put this in your notes. I want everybody to write this down. The first customer you want to sell to first is a tax ID customer. That is number one. Why? Because it's approved for more lines. Every business customer, I don't care if the business customer just robbed the liquor store at T-Mobile, he's still approved for 15 lines. He's going to have more EC balance than everything else. Right? So that's what you got to think of. Tax ID number is first. When you're running your mini market, you need to be chasing tax ID first. Number two, sole proprietor. But you know what's nice about the tax ID? You ain't even gotta have no copy of no business card and all that. It's done, it's cooked, it's baked. People think sole proprietor is easier, it's not. You go on your computer, it's one or two more boxes, you put in a text ID, the name of the company, and that's it, right? Everybody agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. We've all done some personal guarantors, some reps don't even know personal guarantor is, that's scary, okay? Um, sole proprietor is number two, right? Because you're still gonna get more boxes because it's for business, right? So you're gonna get the business and you're gonna get the family. Lastly is consumer. The last customer you should be trying to sell to is consumer, right? Now, there is no difference between a business customer and a consumer customer. Does anybody know why I say that? That, that sounds kind of crazy, no? Huh? Anybody know why I say something like that? Well, why would I say that? Go ahead and say Z. Because we get more incremental by the You do get incremental, but why is the customer the same? No? What, what, yeah. So pretend somebody walks in, right? Say if you walked in, what team mobile would bring you in today? Right? This is a consumer coming in, right? And what makes them a business customer is when I say, do you own a business, have a tax ID, or do something on the side? That same customer just changes to a business customer. It's the same person. So sometimes reps get choked up. Somebody says, do you own a business, have a tax ID? They go, yes, they go. Like they don't know what to say. It's the same person. Nothing changed, right? So, do we sell anything different to a consumer and a business customer besides sync up fleet? No. It's the same thing, right? So, I'm confident that yes, the customer says, do you own a business have a text? And they say yes. Now, here's when you hit them in the mouth and drop the mic. <laughs> right? Did you know business customers can get 13 lines, 4G, LTE, unlimited everything? For only $21.92 per line or $285 per month. And guess what, fam? There's three free devices that you can get with it. So now, you mean to tell me I can get 13 lines, 4G, LTE, unlimited everything, and 13 free phones? For $21.92? Come on, y'all. Is that not the greatest plan ever? Yep. I don't care what promotion comes out, free line, sometimes you get excited about the free line. 10 lines on regular T-Mobile, one is $300 with auto pay. 13 lines is 285, that's three or four lines right there every day. We're not asking, you wanna know why we're not asking? We're not, we're not presenting it to the customer because we think nobody's gonna get 13. You guys agree with that? Ladies agree with that? There's no way, right? And here's the secondary plan. Just say if they say, I don't have 13 employees, I don't have 13 family members, I, I'm not trying to split the field with nobody, this is not going to happen, right? Well, did you also know, did you know, did you know? No. No. business customers can get six lines, 4G, LTE, unlimited everything, for only $33.33 per line, or $200 a month, right? Now, we know we can get six or seven. Y'all agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Technically, it's a free line. Is a free line still today? I didn't check this morning. Yeah. So technically, you can get seven lines, $200. Put this in your notes. 
because you need to take this back, especially if you go start mini market. It comes out to $28.57 per line, including the phones, including the taxes, and including the fees. Right? So the key is, is the did you know piece, right? And then for your bill pay customer. This is like taking candy from a baby. You're managing your mini market. The stores will say, oh, it's slow. There's no Christmas promotions out right now. And what are we going to do? Nobody's coming through our door. Somebody walks in. Customer walks in. It's just like the Wii game. You guys ever played the Wii game back in the day? Right. And y'all can see I'm a big kid, right? So superhero, video game, you name it. Right? Um, anybody play the Wii game when you lose, your avatar goes like this? <laughs> <laughs> and then you click on him and he goes. <laughs> and he wakes up, right? So think about that when the customer walks in the store. The customer walks in, they're here to pay a bill, they're always in a rush, they don't hear nothing you gotta say, they don't want you to sell them nothing, right? So they walk in and says, hey, 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 hey I'm just here to pay my bill. Hey, what team over here? I'm here to pay my bill, man. I'm on, on my lunch break. Uh, I gotta go home and get my kids. Uh, uh, the dog ate it. Whatever, whatever the excuses are, right? Then you just say, well, do you want me to see if I can save some money on your bill? <laughs> yeah, actually I do. Right? That whole thing changed because you said what's in it for them. Right? And when you say something what's in it for them, now that whole mood changes. How much you paying on your bill and how many phone lines do you have? Well, I got six lines with y'all and I'm paying about $400 a month. Okay. But did you, did you know? Did you know? Did you know? That this plan is lower than consumer plans? No, I didn't know that. Did you also know that business customers can get 13 lines, 4G, LTE, unlimited, everything for $285 or $2192 per month? You're paying us $400. I can get you this for you can get seven more people. Your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, add them onto your plan, and your bill is actually going to get lower. So you're reducing and you're replacing it with revenue. Junk, accessories, because when you put the family members on there, they're going to come into the store and says, hey, I need a phone case. Hey, I need I need a car charger. I you know, anybody want to get, I need a hotspot put on my phone because I need this and I need that, right? This is how the money just keeps going up, 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 and up, right? So that customer will switch over to the, I, I, I'm going to show you guys proof. What did I do with my uh, what do with my phone? I got your phone, Joe. Recording oh, you. Darn it. Well, <laughs> you, if you look in the chat, because I want to give you all proof. I don't want to just be up here and just tell you a dog and pony show. I want to give you facts. Two days ago, while y'all were here, I was at storage, right? And this happens every day. But just, just I wanted to show you when, when I get done with, with my phone, I'll show you at the end of class. Me just going store to store in Michigan, right? I'm just driving in, did you know, did you know, did you know? And you see this big crazy face with this big goofy smile all day. Boom, <laughs> boom, I'm at Roseville. We just closed six lines. Did you know, did you know business customer gets six lines? Boom, close it. Just drove over to Frazier. Boom, and then the chat again, just closed four lines. Cause sometimes the customer got two lines and they moving to six. Sometimes they got eight and they're moving to 13. Y'all follow me? Yeah, yeah. These are all incremental boxes that you were not going to get. If you continue to, to sell consumer, I get paid the same thing, you're blowing it. Because you're gonna get how many with consumer? Two. You're getting six when you just present the did you know. The did you know gets you everything. It's no secret, it's no coincidence. Every DM since I've been in this role, in Michigan, we're the only state where the DMs go to Vision Club every year. Period. It's a lock. Because they're being taught, now you're being taught, the did you know. So we're giving our little secret out. So y'all got the secret sauce. Y'all want the secret sauce? Giving it to you, okay? The other thing, how much on time? Okay, so I'm doing pretty good. So for the first time ever. <laughs> So the other thing I want you to think about is business family discount. Now, let me be honest. You all are store, steel store managers right now, right? How many times are we really pitching to get leads? 
Seriously, right? Nobody's really doing it. Sometimes, we, have we forgotten about business family discount? If because sometimes we do the referral for the consumer, right? We'll say that all day, don't we? Does everybody agree with me? Yeah. Or you get $50 if you refer somebody. If you refer up to 10 people, you, you know, you get $500, right? What does business do, y'all? It's up to $40 if you got two or more lines. And what is that per year, Z? $480 from one referral. Because it's a recurring revenue that they get every single month as long as that business customer stays with us. And here's the thing. I'm going to give you guys a perfect example. I've been doing business and retail for a long time. Whether it's a T-Mobile, whether it's brand, it doesn't matter. The brand is the same. The commission structure is all about the same, right? Um, so I would argue T-Mobile is better, right? So there you go. We'll go with T-Mobile is better. My division is better, right? So I had a lead come in one time. Rep just says, hey, you know, do you go to business have a tax? No. You do something on the side? No. Okay. Well, what about, you know, can I get the name and number to where you're working at? You notice I don't never say, and I assume they have a job. I don't never say, where do you work? Because what if the customer says, no, nah, I ain't got a job, I work. <laughs> it's just a bad conversation, y'all. So I wouldn't ask people, I don't never say, where do you work? Because <laughs> it just ain't a good look if they ain't got a job. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Oh, oh you're just yawning. Okay. Um, so, send in the lead, right? They send it in to me. Call the customer, we go on the lead. It's a golf cart company. People want to put golf carts in, in, I mean, tablets in golf cart. With similar, we got a free tablet promo right now, right? Sure. Put the tablets in there. I said, well, why don't you just advertise, have local companies advertise on your tablet? That way you're not even paying us. The customer says, you know what, that's a good idea. Guess how many lines got closed on that deal? How much take a guess? A thousand. Higher. More than a thousand? Higher. Five thousand. Higher. Ten thousand. Exactly, my whoa. <laughs> Ten thousand tablets from one lead. The sales rep was working for an indirect dealer like Wireless Vision. The sales rep made one million dollars. And that same customer came back the next year and sold and, and, and bought. 10,000 more and changed the name of the company from something like Joe Blow's golf carts to Digital Cat. Wow. So every time that you're talking to customers and you're not asking for a lead and say you're not hitting your numbers, or maybe you are, right? And that customer, you did a great job. You sold them accessories. You asked them they own the business, but you didn't ask them about the job. I mean, you didn't ask for the lead. This is what happens. That same customer walked in your store that I just told you about, 10,000 lines. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't slam the door because of glass. Don't I slam it. <laughs> <laughs> That's 10,000 lines walked out the door because what? <laughs> because you didn't ask? Really? <laughs> Are y'all feeling me right now? Is this not happening to your stores every single day? Right? <laughs> See, this is the piece when I said you have to lead by example. You have to bring the noise every day. You have to talk to your managers when you have your meetings and don't forget these things. That's why you need to write them down because you'll forget about business family discount. When you go back to your stores and, you, and you, you're running your mini markets or say you get promoted, whatever the case may be, because you've got so much going on in this training to digest, you're not going to remember retain everything. So take really, really good notes because what I'm telling you all is the secret sauce. And you have to have the I don't play attitude, right? You know, you, you, I'm a very passionate person. I can't help it. It's just, just this is the way I'm built. You see what I'm saying? The average salesperson that, that goes on a lead for a customer, right? The average salesperson close rate is 30%. My average close rate is 97%. You got everybody in this room has my contact information on the back, okay? 
reason, reason is 97% is because I don't play, everybody. How many times am I going to tell y'all I don't play? Okay, I just flat out don't play. When I was four years old, my father bought me a piano. And I broke it. You want to know why? You don't play. I don't play. <laughs> <laughs> <Bottom> line. <laughs> and every job I've ever had, at Burger King, I was the fastest wiper maker in the country. And I got the girl. I was dating man. Right? <laughs> so... <laughs> And 15, too. The statutory rape on her part. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind on her part. I was only 15. <laughs> I didn't even know it was statutory rape either. So like, I was 30 years old. I was like, hey, she raped me. <laughs> I didn't hear what I was. I didn't hear <laughs> No, she really raped me. I wanted it. No. <laughs> first started with this company, you'd probably be a director or, a or by VP or wherever you would want to be. Does everybody agree with that? If you really implement it. If you ask every single customer, did you know, did you know, did you know business company is six months? Did you know business company? And if you want the breakdown, I'll give you the other breakdown. Seven lines is 220. Right, got that? Eight lines is 240. This is T-Mobile One. You can do essentials and add your feature revenue. Do, you can do whatever way you want. I'm just giving you T-Mobile One because the tax and fees included is easier to say. 270 is nine lines. Does it make any sense for somebody to do 10 lines? 10 lines is 300. 11 lines is 330, 12 lines is 360. 13 for 285. Why would you do any of the other? Unless you're just trying to hustle the system to get more revenue. You know what I mean, that's, 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 your, that's your gig. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can do that if you want to. Hey, bro. Yeah. What, uh, what plan are you are you going off of for the 13? I see where he says the tax and the fees excluded. Yeah. They gotta pay taxes on that. Pay taxes and fees on it. Anything at T-Mobile above 12 lines, we have to pay taxes and fees. So that's but still T-Mobile one though. Still T-Mobile one. Still, still T-Mobile one's got everything. And if so, so and to answer your question too, if you want to get some more feature revenue with the plus feature, it's fifteen dollars per line. So thirteen lines with T-Mobile one plus is four fifteen, which is still really good, right? I think the thirteen for two eighty five is. It's just one cycle. It's on. It's on the sheet. It's on, it's on the sheet. It's one cycle for the whole plan. It, it doesn't break out to 70, 50, 20, 20, 20. No, no. Once you, it's just. Three fifteen, three twenty after that. I got you. That's what yeah. And and I want to give some acknowledgement to people that's wondering who are like Z has always been killed to team over business. Javi, my boys. Javi has won the belt. How many times, Javi? We have a belt that you win for the top store here in Michigan. Javi, how many times you won it? I don't know. A lot. <laughs> Three, four, maybe five times, something like that. He's the current champ right now. So, Hobby, Hobby doesn't worry about, oh, my target's going to go up, and then I'm going to have to sell. Oh, he doesn't do that, right? He right fits the customer, and his team says, did you know? Not only does Hobby have the number one store in our area, he, his sales rep is the number one sales rep, and that sales rep is Brandon Clee, who was the number one sales rep for 2018. So this tells you how much business sales can help you. On your back of your seat, sheets, it has my contact information. This is an open invitation, especially for you folks. You're about to have your mini markets, right? It has my phone number and my email address. So if you have a large lead, I'm working. Is Ivan in here? Yeah, man, I got you. We're working on a lead for how many? 100. 100 lines. Mm. Somebody else from Atlanta, we're doing another 100 lines. The, the mine got two, two more deals for 100 lines. Okay, um, just closed a um, hundred lines a couple weeks ago. Uh, uh, Nas, we're working on a hundred line deal. Um, I close deals for all over the country all the time. Even if you have your sales reps call me and says, hey, I got a business customer and they think about 20 lines, whatever. I'm gonna say, look, just get, get a customer on the phone. I got this, no, I don't need to even talk to you no more. Just put a customer on the phone. <laughs> I'm gonna get it done. I don't have time. I told you I don't play. So if you give me a lead, I told you in the United States, 30% close rate face to face. Mine is 97%. You give it to me, 
I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the way this goes is. <laughs> Show you <I'm> silly. <laughs> I don't know some of you, right? So, <laughs> so what I'm saying to everybody in here, I'm, I'm decent here. Uh, <laughs> put my stuff up. Um, so, in any case, what I'm saying to everybody here is the conversation starts. Every single conversation, bill pay, phone issue, new customer, the conversation starts with what three words, everybody? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Does anybody have any questions while I'm still up here? Because I know my time has got to be up now. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. Questions. Nobody got any out. questions? <laughs> Nothing? Read the beans. I would say call over text or anything else because I'm driving all day between stores. So it's better if you hit me up. And then if you have a lead, put it in a, in the WB chat. That way you can see the activity that's going on. So you'll say the lead. You put the lead in, literally, literally, if I'm not driving, I'm going to call that immediately. I'm going to call, just put it, bet all the information as possible. A quality lead, especially if I'm outside of Michigan, it needs to be, if you can, give that the customer know I'm going to call them. So just don't give me a name off of a truck and be like, yeah, I'm going to get it to Joe because he's 97%. He got all the super bad outfit. So I had to call this. So I know he's going to play. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm open to different things the whole country, but I still got a market I got to run. And I don't get paid on what you do. So I'm just doing it on an ad hoc basis. But. Put the information, how many lines they got, what company that is, who who referred them, who the referee is, and who is the decision maker that I'm going to be speaking with. Um, and then you'll see it. I'll put it in there, call customer at 3 o'clock. Uh, I just got finished talking to them. They'll be at your store tomorrow to pick up 150 lines. I mean, have one we did in Atlanta. The guy wasn't willing to go to the store. He said, I got to go to the cigarette bar. I said, that's cool. We got we got a remote tablet. I'm going to call the DM right now. He's going to the, he will, he will meet you at the cigarette bar. We went to, we act, they went, smoked with the guy. Regular cigarette, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I wasn't there. But <laughs> I hope. He was. He was. <laughs> but anyway, he went there and ended up closing. And that customer, I think, started out with 30 or 40 lines. is going to get 200. Right? So... My, my goal is if I speak to somebody, it's just ABC, always be closing. So I'm always looking for closing cues or keys and stuff like that. Now, one other invitation to give you before I leave. If you want me to host a call for your mini market, I will give you like a Ooh. watered down version of this mm. for your mini market and help jumpstart you to be a freaking legend in this company. So you hit me up, you tell me, Give, send me the media maker with the date and the time. I'll dial in and I'll do pretty much what I just did here. To like a really small. It depends how much time you give me, and I'll do. Get, I'll tell them exactly what I'm saying now. And there may be some opportunities where I come outside of the Michigan market. So late may be working on stuff like that, and I'll come in and kind of do kind of what I'm doing here and go to store visits and show you right in front of your face because I'm a lead by example. Um, leader, so I'm not just a trader. So if I go to your stores, like I went to Ohio. The two DMs met me and I said, look, watch this. How you doing, sir? You're welcome to my you today. Yeah, I just want to get accepted. Yeah, but did you know this is going to get 13 lines of 285? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, you got the tax ID? Yeah, I'll be right back. Went to his car, came back in the store. This is in a mall, y'all. In a mall. In a mall. <laughs> Left the mall. Went to the car, came back with his tax ID. Lit up 13 lines. And both DMs were sitting there like this, like they saw a go. They were like... Then they really just happen to say, yeah, it really did. I told you it was going to happen. Right? So what I'm telling you is these opportunities are there in your store every single day. You just have to teach your rep to say what? Did you know? I'm out of here. Uh, yeah.